I don't know. Uh, it's just oh, I document these things. Because when you're here, you know, and you've got plenty of time, um, these things just, you try to figure out. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, it's like a chess game. You go through all the possibilities and impossibilities and probabilities. Um, but, you know, you review it, you review it, you review it. Um, this is an amazing thing. And you've got to give England credit here, okay? The home office. Um, so, I... The, that's one thing I want to fully document, is I have not one shred of facts of evidence that England or the Home Office has done anything wrong. Not one. Actually, just the opposite. I mean... You know, National NHS. You know, yeah. <laughs> I mean... Go, you, you know, if you're not a resident there, you've got uh, something else. Or else you've already, you know, you've done all the fucking work. <laughs> you know, it's, we'll be a part of the system. So, you know, but to see that be a mistake, uh, another, that you can just say anomaly. Um, but again, I don't have any shred that. As far as I know, England is completely not culpable for anything. Besides that they were lied to, the same, I mean, me, as far as I know, I have none, I, like I said, no facts in evidence for England or the Home Office doing anything wrong at all. Everything um, that got me here is completely, you know, can be done without their knowledge, basically, and any official capacity I have. No evidence whatsoever of them, any wrongdoing from England or the Home Office. None. Uh, just the opposite. My experience throughout my life has been they do exactly what they say. Um, basically, in the timeline. I mean, it may seem long. They say six months. It could possibly take two years, like to do my right of, of abode. But oh, it was like, no, three months. Uh, three months, uh, three months to six months is the average, and it was like there's a, every paperwork process I've done in England, um, or you know, government process in England has been they're like clockwork. It, they they, they kind of slow, you know, but they tell you. Um, you and I like that though. I, I have no problem with it. You know, do your job thoroughly. Take your, you know, you need a, you know, they give themselves a little bit of time to do it. You know, say this will take this amount of time, could possibly take this. It's a little bit convoluted, but it is actually very clear and functional. And they do exactly, in my, from my experience, they've done everything just like, I mean, like clockwork. They do it almost exactly. Everything I've did is almost like precision time frame of three months, bam, there it was. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Although they give you all the addendums and possibilities, you know, understandably. Um, so, um, from that aspect, okay, uh, <laughs> you know, England's been put in a, uh, the Home Office has been put in a position of, in England, uh, of Hold on, we gotta figure out what the fuck's going on here. Possibly, I don't know. I don't have them. I don't have their knowledge, but just as far as I know. But that puts them in a position. This is one of the things about the whole thing is before I even walk through the door, everything that all the previous bullshit puts the next corporation or next government already in a position of we can't speak to that because. This can go to a courtroom. Um, so, uh, basically, as far as I know, uh, there's some poor buggers in the home office. Uh, basically, in, in, in the same position of, you know, 
how did we get here? <laughs> you know, <laughs> and what do we do? <laughs> um, it's not their fault, and I don't blame them. I have no plans. I mean, basically because of what other people have done, put them in a position, but they were lied to. So they got put as you know, I have no facts and evidence to the contrary. They were entirely, they're not culpable for anything. Um, so I don't know. You know, I, said, I just want to document that. Of, uh, that's still to this day, gone over it uh, my mind, you know, a gazillion times. Um, and there's no, there's, they've done nothing wrong. Um, they have absolutely nothing to fear. The Home Office in England have absolutely nothing to fear from me. Um, and I, uh, I'm not out, you know, they've done nothing wrong to me. I am nothing but uh, grateful for uh, their services. Um, completely, thank you. Um, and beyond that, um, I, don't, I couldn't put it in words. Um, uh, so that's, uh, I just want to document that, and I don't know. Um, as far as I know, like I said, as far as I know, the home office is in the same boat I am. We're kind of in the same boat of uh, uh, how do we get here and what do we do? <laughs> you know, how do we proceed? Because <laughs> there's this whole situation is all caused externally to, I would say, the home office and me. Um, although we are both, you know, because of uh, the, the, uh, the genetic, male genetic donor, Arthur John Bennett, we are, you know, connected, but um, just it's all external to me. the problems for the home office of me which are basically the same interlinked are all external caused externally to the home office of England and me um, so I just uh, just to document that I don't know um, just totally clear England and the home office here of uh, not, not one shred of facts or evidence they have done anything wrong. Every um, aspect of this, from my knowledge, uh, could all be deception done to them. Um, so just to, uh, I don't know, just to document.